ladies, I haven't seen you in a while. This is my first time meeting you, Vanessa. Angela, I've seen you before. Looking beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. What are we going to see on the new season, Growing Up Hip Hop? A whole lot. A whole <laughs> lot. Career stuff, um, a little bit, a little insight about my relationship. You know, I'm single now. Um, me and Vanessa working on some stuff and talking through some stuff, I guess. Talking through some stuff. I apologize, and I'm sorry for missing your fashion show. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings at all, so. Well, I appreciate you definitely saying sorry because you haven't said that. S-O-R-R-Y. Thank you. I finally got an apology from my sister. I was actually surprised how much you open up from what I've heard about the breakup. I mean, that must have been so hard for you to have it you know what, it, it was camera. all kind of public. I feel like, you know, once I was pregnant, engaged, all this stuff was public, so I feel like since they already knew about that, it's important to be open and honest about it. I know there are a lot of other young women or women yes. that are going through similar situations, and it's scary, you know, to be a single mom by yourself, and you don't know what to, what's gonna happen, and then just to be able to have, you know, my mom to lean on to have that conversation with, because she's been through some stuff as well, but to be open and that people need to know that things are not perfect, but just because they're not perfect doesn't mean you can't build your own perfect world after right. things crumble. You right. know? Now, on the new season, we get to see a lot of, you know, the business deals that you're working on. Yes. How much are you going to share with us and how much can, you know, you can actually announce to the world at this point of what you've been working um, on? I've been working on a lot of things. The, um, the show I'm actually showcasing starting a new beauty brand, mm -hmm. which is a sugar scrub line that I've been Ooh. working on. Yeah, and I want to expand it into a full skincare line. Just went last week where I actually like did my soft launch. So you guys will see a lot. Do you ever think about, okay, my child's gonna see the shows that I've been on. Do you ever have second thoughts about wanting to be in front of the camera? Well, that's why I don't, I keep it real simple, you know what I mean? I would never want my son to look at something that he'd be embarrassed of, you mm. know? And I think it's important, and I feel like we do a pretty good job at making sure we're protecting their feelings as well as our own, you right. know? Because you gotta keep some stuff to you, and then you share with the yeah. world everything else. But, you know, you gotta make sure they're good. Do you want them to be in front of the camera as they get older? If he chooses to. He's already behind my Instagram, but if he chooses <laughs> to be on camera, then when he can tell me, yes, that's what I want to do, then we can have a discussion. But that's what our dad did for us and our family. Like, they asked us if we wanted to do it or not. We had a choice and... Really? You know what? I, that was my next question. I was going to ask, how was it for you guys growing up? Were you asked, hey, is this something you want to yep. be part of? Yes. And really? we asked our dad, like, when we were old enough, like, hey, we want to pursue careers, you know, in entertainment. And then... Yeah, because he was like, if you want to... Runt's house game. Yeah. Yes. And it was phenomenal. So much fun. It's crazy. I think that was the I would have never imagined. I was just like, okay, we did this little pilot. I was like, whatever. And, and then, like, boom. I was, it turned into a huge hit. What's the one thing that you've learned from season one of being in front of camera originally, Runs House, to now? Um, important just to be yourself, because I feel like when you're not yourself, it shows. So just trying to be like your genuine self always. I don't know. I just had fun with it. I just liked working with my family. I didn't really. There was nothing except just learning how to deal with the cameras in front of you. You're like, yeah. okay, yeah, being yourself are you in here? Front of the camera. They're gone. All right, whatever. Let me just pretend they're not even here. Yes. That's where I'm at now. The cameras could be here. I'm like, oh, they're here. I forgot. Do you ever watch old episodes? Oh, it I show my daughter for Father's Day. Did you I, see it? Yeah, I show my daughter episodes of Runt House all the time because it's like having a family album yeah. for her to like. That see. is true. She loves just it. She's like, look at Rusty. She's like, look at Diggy. Yeah. Exactly. I got my first car on camera. I can't wait to show her. Uh, that that shit. Yeah. So, so you're like, what? That's so crazy Ava to loves me. It. She's like, look at Papa. Look at Grandma Guppy. <laughs> oh my gosh. She loves it. How much do you feel that your family has influenced you as, you know, business ladies? Obviously, your father, your uncle, they've done so much in the industry. How much of that has played a part on you? Oh, large it's part. A huge part of like I feel like who I am today and they've led such they've led by such an amazing example that it encouraged us and inspired us to want to be in the business and to be <laughs> business women. So absolutely. Do you still call them like, um, I need some help. What do you think? Call my dad I all think the time. It's definitely a conversation. <laughs> conversation. You call him like all hey, the time. So, <laughs> hey, so what do you think about this? I can't really make a decision. I try to make most of them, but when I feel like I need a little help, yeah. What's one piece of trendy, you know, fashionista fashion items that you would say is going to be big this season as fashion? Biker shorts. Biker, Biker shorts. shorts. I've been saying that for years. I've been wearing them for years, and say, now they're everywhere. I was like, I've been saying this. Nobody wants to listen. 
fanny packs to fanny go. Packs yes. to 80s been, or back. How long I've been wearing? Everybody was making funny money, man. No, you, since I've you been were working out, it. you've been doing yeah, it. I've been wearing them. We've been seeing you in them for a couple years now. I had the one with the gold studs, and everybody was telling me to get rid of it. So fanny packs, biker shorts, those are the in things right now. Yeah. I like the little clear shoes, and I like the ones that do look pop of color. More strappy shoes are coming yeah. really in. I mean, they've been in, but just the continual of it. Classic. The items to look out yeah. for this season. Okay, I like it. Well, ladies, it was so good chatting with you. Thank you, guys, Thank you. for having us. Of course. Us.